friends. I had a great morning this morning. I did uh, an Instagram live and I just feel like I'm going to re-enter into live streaming. Oh, the past few months I've really been testing life to see what happens when I relax more, I deepen connection to myself more, I just slow down and then I live from like a deeply <laughs> He was attacking Yuri all day today, this poor dog. From my own pace, like what does the pace of Kristen even look like? What do I desire? What do I wanna create? And then living and moving from that place. So my live was so juicy today. I streamed for like 94 minutes and it's available on my Instagram if you guys wanna watch it. Uh, but it was just so fabulous and I love my community and I love you watching this. Thank you for Oh, just valuing my content and being here and being part of the growth and the movement and the change. Like, yeah, if you're watching this content, you have similar interests to me and similar desire to connect with yourself and live your best life. So welcome. I love you. Thank you for being here. Ah, oh, life is good. Look at your cute boy. This camera I'm focusing has been a little bit not very good lately. I had a really good day today. Did my Instagram live. I've just been really tired. I spent time with a good friend of mine yesterday and she's going through some stuff. And whenever I'm around someone that's going through some stuff, I love being able to hold space. But I just find the next day, I don't have the same degree of like energy to do a bunch of things. So I took it a little bit easy. Normally I would just like beat up on myself and be like, oh, why am I so tired? There's things I should be doing, things I should be getting done, etc., etc. But instead, I was just like, thank you, body, for telling me to rest. And I did some yin yoga. I just found like an hour long course on YouTube. I did that. I did a little bit more breath work just to kind of bring myself back into my body and my energy. And then I played some Remy Cube while I cuddled with my animals and I just feel so restored and I know tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have so much energy and be ready for the day because I took these steps and used these tools as opposed to in the past when I would just beat up on myself about being tired and still try and push myself. Then I would wind up being tired for weeks and it literally turns into this sleepy whirlpool, which I'm not about anymore. So at every single moment in my life, I'm just honoring what... I need and I'm taking it. It's just been really beautiful. And I understand that I'm privileged right now because I am not working traditionally this month, but there's a lot of different ways that you can take little breaks throughout your day to do a meditation or a little breath work or read you know, a passage from a book that makes you feel good or do a little bit of stretching or yoga or get outside and breathe some fresh air. Like there's tools that you can do different thoughts that you can have and mindset changes and shifts and drinking more water little things like that that make a huge difference in your life and the point of this is just acknowledge what you're feeling have gratitude for what you're feeling because just body is just so intelligent and then honor it the most important thing is learn to develop and know yourself and create this connection with yourself. Like the only person you're gonna know in life is yourself. So learn to know that you can rely on yourself, you can stand up for yourself, you can provide for yourself, you can teach yourself, take yourself on adventures, love yourself, please yourself, and find out what those things are that like you desire and get in resonance with that. Because when you're standing in resonance with like your mind, body, and soul, you don't get triggered as often you know what you want and you have a lot more peace because you're not constantly looking for others to validate yourself and it's freedom and so when you're operating and moving from a place of that then you can really start looking at the products and services and service that you can do in society that's in alignment with you but it's also contributing to the upliftment of everyone around you and it's not out of this longing or this need or this lack or this greed or where I think a lot of other people create and build from and then they get trapped by it. Normalize just the cycles of, of life you know and, and, and 
be on the leading edge of showing others that you can find success using different schedules and models and, and not just like mediocre success, wild success, you know, like let that be your example. So I think that's exciting that you're getting to redesign that. And I would say meditate on it, yeah. you know, like you can ask people questions all day on it, but they don't know. And, you know, and as for me, you know, it's just, I'm just living by my heart. I'm going to Egypt in a week to stay for a month with my friends. And then I'll be in Dubai and around Egypt and then a little bit in Ethiopia and just seeing where that takes me. Like I've, I've designed my work now to be able to do wherever I go. So I'm following my heart and following my yes. how much people are desiring talking more about how to be more positive, how to be happier. So I'm thinking I'm going to dedicate like a whole video to that topic because I am literally happy. 99% <laughs> of the time, I would say. Like I feel like I've perfected this in my life. Every person's life is going to look different. I'm just in such awe and, and pleasure of life and pleasure with myself. Like I have so many fantastic, sexy, solo practices now with myself and I'm just feeling like very embodied like dancing and masturbating and bathing and massaging oil and I'm just like this is how I want everyone to feel <laughs> like if we all felt like this we would have no problems so I think I'm gonna make a separate video about that if you guys have like specific questions around those topics you want to ask let me know so I took a saliva test for my hormones and uh, I had a lot of questions about it, a lot of women. And I think that with our current like onslaught of like microplastics and hormones in the water and our foods and processed foods and all the bad oils for us, like we're just, and glyphosate, like they're just, we're inundated with toxic things in our bodies right now. So I think a lot of people are struggling with hormones and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna make another video totally dedicated to that. And then if you're a guy watching, maybe I'll do a little part for our guys too because I think that's important to just be aware and conscious of your own levels and then also how to support women if they're going through things too and it all comes back to the gut too there's just so much to talk about this so that's gonna be a whole nother video but yeah I thought I would bring that up because I'm just in a good mood I'm just in a good mood I'm just in a good mood ah <sighs> Hello my beautiful friends, it's another day of cooking in the kitchen with Kristen, weird things. I've been into organ meats lately, I don't think I shared my liver and onions with you, maybe I didn't, but I'm going to be making liver and onions and chicken hearts. It's good to eat the rest of the animal, it's really important, and it's healthy for you. So if you don't already eat organ meats, try it out. So we're going to make that today. I love live streaming, I mean obviously it's been a passion of mine for 8 years, but I don't have my computer set up with me, it's being held hostage in Miami, so I think I'm going to just start doing little like phone streams and IRL streams and positivity chats just on my other social medias, so if you follow me on YouTube and don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you should, because I think I'll start doing lives there. They've got a pretty great live setup and um, a good discoverability function too, so it helps find new audiences and they have fun tools too for like donations and whatnot, so it's cool. I think I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more regularly. It's just on my phone, it's so easy to pick up. I just need to get in the habit of it. Wow. wow. That is incredible. It's my birthday and I haven't been recording very much. 
I went and got a facial and a massage and went in a salt cave. I got a little bit of lip filler today, which I haven't done in a couple years. Feeling pretty good about it. Now I had all these bananas that were in the freezer and since Luke and I are leaving, I gotta do something with it. So I'm gonna do another attempt because honestly my gluten-free baking so far has been not the best. So I'm gonna make another attempt to do a banana loaf. Sticking, although honestly, yeah, this doesn't work as good as I thought it would. It's not, it's not Pam, you know, but it's good for you. I feel like I can use more maple syrup. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to you and your like maple syrup. I feel like everything in the world could use more maple syrup. Mm -hmm. But I'm just starting to get really sore. They're so swollen. You don't like this? Saving myself for the spoon. Kristen and her gluten free cooking. One day I will be a genius. I just need to spend one day with Amanda. She will show me. We'll get some close ups of that action. Oh, yeah. God, my freaking lips in the video right now. I look so crazy. No one tell my doctor I'm using my lips. How do you eat? No, you're allowed to eat. You're just not allowed to suck up straws or dick. And my, my doctor did say that. So. How good is that? That's so good. I made that. Well, yes, we made you it. Did. You can take all the credit. No, you did some mashing. It's your birthday. This consistency wouldn't be here without you. <sighs> With my family, we're going to Waterfront Wines tonight. It's one of my favorite restaurants. I hope they have duck on the menu. They usually have duck on the menu. If they don't, I've got a duck breast in the fridge I can make later. So, winning. This is my outfit tonight. Still have the vintage Terry Blue Blue today. So I'm like, is this like a mini baby? Can I not take these off? <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> so swollen. Can't wait till they're not swollen, yay! Good morning, 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 good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> my lips are rude, so just ignore them. Uh, we're packing now. Luke and I are like absolute machines when we're packing to go anywhere. You have no idea, Luke and I have moved how many times? We've probably packed together 60 or 70 times. At least. Yeah. And so we're just machines. So we're running through this house, packing everything up. Luke leaves today at four, mm -hmm. and then I leave tomorrow morning. So packing the house and then going to Egypt. So if you want to follow my life and adventure or be part of any of the conversations and interests that I have, check out my socials. It's Kitty Plays across everything. And I also have a Discord uh, where we discuss this type of stuff. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to subscribe, spank that thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. Any time you interact and engage with my videos, it really helps the channel. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.